what's up it's Caitlin here and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can improve your jump flexibility and your jump height I don't really want to ramble on about a bunch of stuff before I start but I do want to let you guys know that this is how my videos are going to be done from now on um, it's going to be with this backdrop and I'm going to be using this camera so that the quality of the videos are better but yeah so here we go so there are like a million and five hundred and fifty three thousand different ways that you can uh, improve your jump height but I'm just going to focus on five of them number one rubber bands so you can go to like um, Staples or any other store that sells like off supplies and you can get rubber bands that are like this thick and what you're going to do is you're just going to put a rubber band around your ankle and you're going to do your toe touches until you um, think that's easy then you're going to add two rubber bands and do your jumps and you're going to keep on doing that until you get like five rubber bands going from your ankles to your knees and this is going to improve your uh, leg strength and help you get your legs up in the air and snap them back down. And once you get really good at this, then you're going to be able to do your toe touch with the rubber bands on. And by then, your jumps should be hyperextended. But yeah, that's probably my favorite way to improve your jump height. Don't go and buy like little puny rubber bands uh, at like Walmart or something like that. The rubber bands that you need are only going to be like $5 for the pack of them, if not less. So I would go and definitely um, go to the store and buy them there. So next thing I would do is tuck jumps, tuck jumps or pencil jumps. So tuck jumps, if you guys know, is when you like bounce up and you tuck and then you just like keep tucking. And then pencil jumps are just when you like jump up and down. And this is going to build your leg strength and this is going to help you be able to get yourself off the ground faster and um, get your feet back down. So that's very simple. That's something that you can do without having to buy anything. Another thing you're going to have to buy stuff for this is um, ankle weights and I promise you, like, if you don't own a pair of ankle weights, get some because you can use them for running, you can use them for cheerleading, you can use them for pretty much anything. They're just um, really good things to have laying around the house. And these things really aren't even that expensive either. You can get them at Walmart for like $5. But you're just going to do your jumps with your ankle weights on and just increase the weight of the um, ankle weights. And it will help you with getting your legs up and down as well. Alright, so leg kicks is another good thing. But when you do these, what you want to do is you want to make sure your arms are in like a perfect T. And when you do your kicks, you want to make sure your leg comes up behind your arm and that you try not to move. You want to keep your body still. And you just want to make sure that your leg's the perfect form, like rotate it back when you do it. And you want to do those in reps. Um, that's pretty simple to do as well, but you want to make sure that you do it correctly or else it won't be of any use. And leg raises is when you sit um, on the ground in a straddle and you're going to lift up your legs as if you were in a toe touch. You're not like just lifting them straight up. You're going to lift them with your hips rolled back and your toes pointing backwards. You don't want to do it just like up and down. That's not really helping you as much as it would if you're doing it right. So those are the five things that I recommend to do if you want to um, make your toe touch higher. And those again are use rubber bands, do tuck jumps slash pencil jumps, uh, use weights, do leg raise or leg kicks and do leg raises. Okay, so toe touch flexibility. Um, again, there's like a jillion different things that you can do, but of course, one thing that you want to do is splits, and you want to make sure that all your splits are down to the ground. And then once they are, you're going to move on to the second thing I have on my list, which is hyperextended splits, where you're going to have your splits on um, other objects while you're splitting, so that you have a bigger uh, distance that you have to go down. You also want to do lunges because you guys may not know this, but your hip flexors are a really big part of your jumps. And um, if you damage those, then your jumps are going to be pretty bad. Uh, I've hurt my hip flex flexor and it causes me to have pain during my jumps, but I can still jump uh, pretty decently. But I know somebody that's hurt their hip flexor and their jumps went from hyperextended to like barely a spread eagle. Um, so you want to make sure that you stretch your hip flexors very well. And if your hip flexors are stretched well, then you'll be able to jump easier. And wall splits is another thing you can do, which is when you're going to put your legs... Uh, your wall, your leg up on the wall you can either be holding the um if you do like in a dorm frame holding the one door frame and having your leg go up this way like backwards as you see people do when they're stretching for scorpions but then you can also just have like one wall and take your leg and kick it up in front of you and just push your body against the wall so those are two different ways to do wall splits. Along with wall splits I'm gonna say gravity splits which is where you put your butt up against the wall and you let your legs hang and if you guys get really good at that, then have somebody stand on your thighs. But don't do that until you're ready. 
and also has something for the person to support themselves on so that they don't hurt you. One more thing, butterflies, and butterflies will also help with your hip flexor a lot. They also are stretching your groins too. So butterflies are another really, really good thing to do. So if you do these five things, then you should be good to go on the flexibility. And um, of course, it's not gonna happen overnight, but if you guys practice, then you will be able to have better flexibility and height in your toe touches. I hope this helps, guys, and I hope you guys enjoy my um, new video setup. All right, guys, see you later. Bye.